uh, absolutely faultless, quite frankly. Um, the a guys are um, extremely proactive, uh, they listen, they take ownership, um, very transparent in terms of uh, planning and costing. Um, the tools are good. What more could you ask? <laughs> um, they're a good bunch of guys. Uh, it's, uh, we, we have a collaborative uh, working environment um, um, and it's worked really well, I think. Uh, the, uh, the people uh, who work at Argent Moore very competent, very technically aware, and actually they keep up to uh, date with all of the uh, uh, all of the, the technical goings on, um, which takes a lot off my mind because I'm not having to train people up. Uh, you know, if we were going to do this internally, it would just be a mammoth task. So I think it's been a real benefit to us to work with them. So and um, then the whole release schedule and release strategy is all uh, very well documented. So. Uh, it gives us a lot of confidence that the platform is a, a very strong, uh, future-proof platform. Um, and uh, we'll spend a lot of time getting it um, in recent months, working very closely with AMW on all the security aspects of the data. Okay. Uh, because applying social networks to um, you know, manufacturing information generally um, has been a difficult concept to get right. Um, so it's quite pioneering, that's that. It's thing. extremely pioneering, um, but for that reason, you know, we've had to look pretty hard at, um, at it uh, from a security standpoint. We believe we've got it as good as we can be now, um, even though we're not experts in information security. Uh, but AMW, again, have been really proactive through that whole process, and they're now offering to do some pretty rigorous penetration testing with external consultants and so on give us every comfort that our information is uh, as safe as it needs to be. The new Sabisil system, which just because of the fact of suggestions from from Agent and War staff and suggestions from us, we, we've hammered together and it's quite easy for me to say oh, I wanted to do this. If I found a problem, I rang up and most of them Steve would fix within 10 or 15 minutes, he'd say, oh yeah, I know why it's done that, which obviously I, I had no idea why I was doing it. All I got was an alarm thing saying, oh, can't do that, or there's been an error. He would go away, he would fix it, he would come back and say it was done, and I would continue on. And what we've also done, which has been very handy, is found a few things that we wanted to improve along the way. They were fine as they were, but we could see that they might be slightly better changed um, and exactly the same as any errors I would just ring up and Steve would do it for us you know and it was done it's been great it's been really good and the the fact that the system's up and running and working now but I can still call imagine and what and say I've got a client that loves what we've got but they would like it to do this as well, or instead. And then we can turn around and say, right, let's let's write a slightly different setup purely for that one client. And that option's always there. 